Hello and welcome to a new episode of Airport Update. Since the last episode, a lot of things have happened. Firstly, I've managed to set up most of my ground plates and you can see it's still a little bit of a mess. The terminal that I bought from Harper Wings is now fully assembled, but still not fully in place. And then just opposite of that, there is an empty space. Now all these things are about to change and I will walk you through the entire setup and what the plans are for the future. In the last episode, I asked you to help me find a location for the airport. The most upvoted suggestion was the fictional airport, Munich City Airport. So that will be the location for our airport. Over on my Instagram account, I had asked you to help me out finding the IATA code for the airport and you were all very helpful. And then I could also find a matching ICAO code. So that has all been put in place. Now let's take a quick look at the different areas of the airport and what the future plans and the current plans for these areas are. The area that you see here is basically an extension area for the main terminal building. Now for now there is no building there, but this is basically where I will try to build my own custom made terminal building. Then a bit further along the apron, we have this little area where I probably also would try to make a little custom uh, building probably something for like the ATC where the tower could be stuff like that. And then we have the main cargo area. Now this is a pretty a large area. So we will have a lot of space for different buildings. Um, already have the cargo center from Hapa Wings and that will go on here, but there's more space. So there could come some more buildings here, but this is basically where all the cargo uh, planes will be parked or at least most of them and all the cargo activities will take place. Right opposite of that, we have another little area, which is for now free and probably will stay free for a long time. I'm not sure there will be ever a terminal building here, but there could be a little supply building or something like that. Now, despite this whole setup already being about two meters long, there is actually more. In fact, there will be two more ground plates, which will be here on the left side, which I haven't set up yet, which will come later. This is where the main hangar area will be. But as the hangars from Happy Wings at the moment are out of stock, there's no point for me to set this up for the moment, but this is coming hopefully soon. But this is basically the main taxiway, which will go over to the hangar area but also to another little apron where general aviation really would have space. At the moment, I don't really have any general aviation aircraft, but hopefully I will get some at some point and they could go over there. So that is the setup for now, but I have some terminals ready. So let's set them up and take a look at that. So here we are, two terminal buildings, a main terminal and a satellite terminal, one from Hepa Wings and one custom made. So let's walk through it. We have here the main terminal building, which is pretty much ready, except for the jet bridges, which I still need to set up, but that should be ready by the next episode. Here we will have wide body and single aisle aircraft. Then on the opposite, we have the custom terminal building, the satellite building, which is inspired by the satellite terminal in the real Munich airport. Now this was made by custom airport buildings. If you are interested in his work, I'll leave the link to his Instagram page in the comment section below. Now this satellite terminal has one awesome feature and that is the visitor's terrace, which has an amazing view over the entire apron, the main terminal, of course, the taxiway behind and the runway of the airport. The terminal has six gates, five of them with jet bridges, one where you will walk to the aircraft. These will all be single aisle aircraft. Now, at some point later down the line, I think I will replace this terminal building with another custom made terminal building, but it will not go to waste because my plan for this terminal building is then to use it in a secondary airport, which I would like to open up later next year. But for this airport, I'd like it to be as interactive as possible. So one thing I would really love to do and that I will do is basically have some polls at the end of an episode where you guys, for example, can decide on which airlines should join the airport and on which routes they should fly. Now, I will do my best to have another episode before the end of 2017, so before the end of this year. But I would already like to ask you a question now. And the main question that I have for you guys is, should Lufthansa have a major base at this airport or not? You can vote by simply clicking what you like in the poll in the top right corner of the screen. 
Now, before we end the episode, let's quickly dive back to the cargo area of the airport where I've now set up the cargo center. So what you are seeing here are the three buildings that come in the cargo center from Harper Wings. There's still space for more, so that will definitely be extended a bit later down the line. There will be space for up to five cargo aircraft right on this side, but we could actually also place a few on the other side of the apron in case it is very busy. Now with that, we have reached the end of this airport update. As it is titled, we are still under construction, but my hope is that we will have first operations out of this airport before the end of the year. And that would of course mean another airport update before 2017 ends. If you want more behind the scenes and want more information about where we are on this project, then keep an eye also on my Instagram account as I'm definitely quicker to update about the advances of the airport on my Instagram account. And with that, I would like to say thank you very much. Thank you very much for your support on this project. Don't forget to vote whether Lufthansa should have a major base here at the airport or not. And of course, if you have any other suggestions about the airport, then feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Now, for now, I would like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.